Welcome back everyone to the channel where Radical Bros Gaming as always. And we're continuing our uh, exploration of the Paldea region. Oh yeah. You know what game this is. If you clicked on the video, you know what's happening. Uh, I'll just do a quick look at Lou at what we got here. We got some Pokemon. Uh, and uh, I don't, I think last time we did badge number one and... Uh, we, um, we finished two. Badge number two. It should say on our map here. Yeah. No, nope. It says on your. I think on your Pokedex. I think you are about to do the Team Star. Fire. Oh yeah, I'm going. To, I'm going Team Star. Wait, I thought it said on your map. Anyway, if you, I think if you zoom out a couple times, it may show things that are beaten or something like that. I got a marker on my map, so I don't care. I'm going that way. Yeah, I'm running around in a circle to see about evolving this guy because for some reason they're like, hey, let's do that. Let's no, pass. Cyclozar, leave me alone. Yeah, they're like, hey, you know how cool this Let's Go feature is? That isn't all that cool and doesn't work that well. You have to use it to evolve this Pokemon. <laughs> Multiple Pokemon. I think there's three in this game that you have to do this with. What? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, you got this guy, you got the Tumbleweed, and you got the Dung Beetle. Oh, I just straight up caught those Pokemon from raids. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I, I couldn't find the Psychic Dung Beetle anywhere. But... Oh, a Rookity. Get him! Alright. Yeah. Here we go. Nope, leave me alone. I don't want to see you. All right, here we go. This way. Going up. I forgot I can't climb up walls yet, which is annoying. Yeah. Got to run on the road like a fucking peasant. Oh, no. They're going to tell me about this thing here. It's going to take forever. Cassiopeia. I think that's enough. Do I have any candies or anything? I take it this means you've decided to join my operation. I guess so. Learn bite. Sure. Bite instead of charge. Oh, best character in the game showing up right now. Ooh, evolution. All right. Yeah. Nice. This guy is about to be real strong. Oh, yeah. Who are you is right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Clive. Clive's, Clive's a good one. In the building. This is the this is classic Pokemon Scarlet Violet. It's got the ultimate uh, flag banner jank in the background and Clive. There's some there's some good guys in this. Uh... We're not pals. There's... I will say the the characters in this game they did a good job. They're good on that. They're good characters. And the music's great, the characters are great, the 3D models are awesome. It's just not optimized. Just just fix your game. We'll, we'll fix your game, guys. It's definitely very poorly optimized, but it is what it is. All right, what the hell am I doing? I'm about to beat up this Starfall thing. Oh, it's so stupid. The let's go you have to do here, too. Uh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I was I think I was looking for a ground type. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. what is that? Oh, that's where I am. Oh, I forgot I made my guys thing that really done. Oh, that's what I was go doing. I was going over here for some reason. I don't remember what happens when you, uh, Take a little break in between recordings. <laughs> you don't yeah. remember anything that you're doing. Wait, you look familiar. You're, are you Director Clavel? Nah. Nope, you're not. He has no idea what I'm talking about. I'm Clive, a normal academy student, just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. But okay, all right, whatever you say, buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh. What do we have here? I got myself a big lit and 
put the bird up here. Actually, the salt I'm going to go up here. You can, you can bite things. Uh, okay, cool. Never used a pyroar. There's some more explosion. It's no, it's it's no good. Yeah, adding normal type to a Pokemon normally just doesn't do great. Oh, it just gives it a weakness, it. usually. Dude, I love Murkrow. Why is Murkrow in... Like, why are they choosing Murkrow over um, Honchkrow for ranked battles? Do you know? Have you seen that? Yes, Prankster. It's, oh, oh yeah, Prankster Tailwind. Prankster Tailwind. And it's because all the other Prankster Tailwind mons are not in this gen. So Murkrow is the one. I guess. It's really fragile, though. It is, but you throw a Eviolite on it. And it's not that bad. And it's it's got good typing, so it's immune. it has two immunities and nothing four times super effective against it. So it's, I don't know, it ends up surviving very well. Okay, the grunt outside of team, the, the team star uh, is like level 25 and I'm not even close. So maybe I'll do a little exploration for a little bit first. Ah. Uh. I don't really want to get smoked by the by the car. Oh yeah, that car. The old broom room is pretty good. Get away from me! Get away from me! No! Hate fighting rookies. Okay, I can't eat a berry. That's fine. That's the ability we need in our Emerald Kaizo playthrough, a nerve. Dude, that'd be really good. Was... Considering every single Pokemon has a berry. It could it would have two if the programmer would have figured out how to do that. Isn't there Okay, enough exposition, Jesus. Come on. Which Pokemon has it? There is an ability in which that there's a 50% chance that they get their berry back uh yeah i don't know what well isn't stuff cheeks a berry ability also yeah there, there's quite a few berry abilities uh like right, there's i guess i'll come back later when i'm not getting when i'm not super under level for that like cud chew if you like eat your berry twice like you eat it and then the next turn you eat it again weird i think the olive evolution gets the like regrowth berry thing i don't remember what it's called but i think i think that mon gets it no i don't want to fight you i guess i'll fight this trainer i full disclosure i've done everything in the in my other playthrough pretty much and I don't remember. If, I remember fighting like maybe 10 trainers. Oh, yeah. I, I did like six at the very beginning. And then after that, I only fought gyms and stuff. I never fought another actual trainer. I'm about to fight a trainer right now. It's no good. I can't control my power. That's a weird thing to say. My power. Beatrice, the student, sent out one of the worst Pokemon. Alamola, whatever it is. Alamola. I hate that Pokemon. Oh, yeah. It's so <clears throat> bad. Yeah, I don't know why they made that instead of just giving Love Disc an evolution. <laughs> Let's make a another Love Disc. Everyone loves the first one. Let's do it again. I guess they had to make another reason to get heart scales when they didn't want to. Yes. 
It was weirdly important in certain games. Ooh. Man. I don't have way too many uh, fighting types if I get this. Flamigo. Flamigo is cool, though. It is. Not everyone is liking the fact that they just put just like a regular old Flamingo in the game. Yeah, it's it's one of those Pokemon I like <laughs> because me. it's really stupid. Like, if it was different than just a normal Flamingo, but it wasn't like something super cool, I wouldn't like it. But mm -hmm. I like it because they're like, yeah, it's a it's a Flamingo. We're going to change the name a little bit. What, what do you want? It's it's your friend. It's a flamingo. Like what? It's all we is need. Is stupid heart Pokemon strong? Why is it kicking my ass? It's not strong, but it's better than Love Disc. Picking up a lot of Gabagool coins. Go there. I wish Drowsy was good, nice. but he ain't. Yeah, poor Drowsy. Such a cool Pokemon, but. Me no, leave me alone. Oink alone. <laughs> I hate that Pokemon. Yeah. Bad one. Bad guy. He bad guy. Where are we going here? I've just kind of been running around for a second. Have you ever watched the YouTuber Totally Not Mark? No, never heard of he him. He does he does illustration stuff, and uh, I saw a video he did the other day, or maybe it's not that recent, but recent enough, where he was talking about he was redrawing uh, Gen Nine in Gen One style, and it's pretty cool. That's neat. <laughs> because. The, the styles have changed just like any art, any long standing thing, art style changes. And they made it like just more round and less detailed in in the later gens. So he got some other artists and did a video about showing you what it looked like if they were a little more detailed. It was pretty cool. Did you notice <clears throat> when when we completed the Pokedex and you get your diploma, the illustrations mm. on the diploma of the starting Pokemon are in like the old style illustrations. I can pull up my diploma again, right? It's in my. Uh, it's in your Pokedex, I think, forever. OK, yeah. Let me check. Uh, is it in my profile? I mean, you wouldn't have it on this save file. Oh, that's correct. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll have to check it out. I didn't notice that. I thought it was cool that they did, <clears throat> they did that, though. When I when I saw it, I was like, man, this looks like the I, I forget his name. I forget the original like illustrator. But when it's like kind of not fully colored in leaving it's spaces. Style, yeah, yeah, it, it it's really looks cool. really cool. And I was like, that's neat. Cause I, that's like one of my favorite illustrations is like the old, uh, actually like Bulbasaur. He's not, he's not one of my favorite starters, but that illustration of him, he has like that deep blue and it's just really nice. Yeah. The old gen one illustrations are among my favorite for sure. Why do you have Brian? What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Brian's a good move. Why does the cup chew have it? He's briny. He's not briny at all. He's icy. He briny? You don't want salt water all over your ice. Alright, maybe I'll maybe I'll get a pooper here. I do like poopers. Am I able to just catch you with a pokeball? That'd be nice. That'd be a nice one. Come on, gotcha. All right, check the, uh, gotta check your stats. Cause if you don't have water absorb, can't take you. Yeah, you're kind of garbage without it. Uh, I realized my stupid, um, 
My stupid salt rock has the worst of the two. It's still a decent ability, but purifying salt is much better than sturdy. What does purifying salt do? I'm pretty sure it stops you from having status effects. <laughs> yeah. So on my other game, I was breeding in shiny version of him and I, again I got lucky and got the well no I first I bred his purifying salt and then I got the shiny but I've been really lucky on that on my other game the fucking hidden abilities yeah I haven't I haven't been able to get uh get my shiny via eggs yet but I did get what three within one sandwich that was a good time yeah they made it a lot easier Right. Any more trainers around here that I'm missing? Are you just staying out in the hills? Did I fight you already? No, whoops. There's a rookie there. Oh, damn. Rookie I'd... D. I didn't grab this flight path I meant to. All right, music also slaps in this game. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. I'm beating up this bird. Go away, bird. I just think if I can make my way over there again. Did I fight you already? Uh, I think you wanna. Nope. Let's fight you. I need. Need a good old pooper. I get. They should have made it more clear in the game that it's really beneficial to go through the academy storylines yeah because they show you the locations of the legendary pokemon and stuff yeah i still need to do that i have not done anything with the academy in my normal playthrough i've not sat through a single class yeah i didn't do anything class at all but I need to catch those legendaries because they're they're really good they just I don't know it, you can't use them that, like that well right now also why is the like official battling of this game double battles or ranked but there's only like one double battle in this entire game normally. I'm not sure. It's it makes no sense. Um, but when I do ranked battles, I'll be doing single battles. Do they have ranked singles? Don't they? I, I'm pretty sure it's just ranked doubles. Well, that's no good. Is that? Yeah, I just think it's ranked doubles. There might be singles, but for some reason I think doubles. But there's like no, like I, this morning I was like thinking and I had some ideas for some double battle teams and I would like to test them out, but there's no place for me to get a double battle. Other than doing it against randos online, which I, I don't really want to test theories out on people like that. So, yeah, that's fair. But sometimes I just want to test to see if a like, let's just say an ability works the way I think it does. So it's like, oh, if I'm going to do this, I don't want to just go fight someone and then look like an idiot by <laughs> doing something stupid. I don't know. And the fact that you can't challenge the gym leaders again is an weird to me. Annoys me, yeah. They're well, I mean, we don't want to spoil anything, but that's kind of not true. Yes. But it's also very true at the same time. Yeah. 
Okay, what the fuck is the clef key? Is it just fairy or is it fairy and steel? Fairy steel. steel. It's walling me here. Yeah, it's the bet. That's the best type in the game. It's really, it's really fucking me up here. Um, Cause it has, I mean, maybe, maybe second best type in the game. I want to say ghost steel might be technically better. Are there any ghost steel that aren't legendary Pokemon? You got the Gabagool. Oh, I guess that is the one. Yeah, he's, that's why he's number one raid. Pokemon. Yeah, he's and his ability is crazy. Yeah, he's awesome. Like he is on like eighty percent of all ranked teams. Well, yeah. If he can't get a status effect, then he can do. He can throw coins at everyone. He can just throw coins at both the Pokemon at the same time. Yep. Yeah, not getting status, like not being able to be hit by fake out. One because he's ghost. Two, even if he wasn't ghost, he can't be uh, flinched like that. Just not being able to be hit by statuses is amazing. Man, that Klepki was a pain. What the hell? I have nothing to fight that. Yeah. Beat him, but I got nothing. I got nothing to go against it. It's like because the way you fight a fairy is using steel or poison, and, and uh, neither of those work. Yep. Ooh, I got an ultra ball. Nice. Yeah, so it just makes it so all of everything that's super effective against it. I mean, isn't the mo I mean, I guess. Fire and ground are decently common, but they're not like super common. Yeah, I mean, they're common moves, but they if you're not prepared for that fairy steel type, you get fucked. Which is why I'm glad I have the uh, Tinkatuff. That's going to be one of my best Pokemon coming up here. All right, I don't remember what I'm doing, so I'm just going to I'm fighting trainers on. so that I can beat up the star guy. Or boots, boots lady. Boots lady. Yeah, she has like the ultimate. Doesn't she have the ultimate fire boots all the way up her leg? Oh, yeah. Don't use dig, you stupid. Okay. These trainers are getting me here. Oh. Too bad I'm gonna swap in my my parrot. Parrot. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of. Wait, I can still intimidate it when it's under the ground. That's cool. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Ooh, wish I could get a Taros. I like one of the forms of it. I wish Venonat and Venomoth were better Pokemon. Yeah. I like them a lot. Speak of Tauros, it just ran into frame as I was fighting this trainer. It just like tried to headbutt my bird walk. Yeah. Couldn't though. It's just staring at me. It's ready for a showdown. I don't want to really want to fight it right now. Actually, fuck yeah, I'll fight it. You trying to go, bud? I have a bird that's going to slap you. Dude, Let's go. They're first. real strong for a uh, early game. But I got an intimidating bird with a pompadour and aerial ace. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's intimidating. <laughs> I guess because people who are rockabilly think they're intimidating. I don't know. What was that? 
Ow. The hell Pokemon is that? Critical hit. <clears throat> right, I'm, I'm going to do this raid just because I'm very confused by what Pokemon this is. Why is the double kick doing any damage to me? Wait a second. What? How did you beat me? What the fuck? There's no way you should have beat me. On who? It kicked my bird to death. I don't understand how. Who was it? Taros. Oh, yeah. Taros is it's just very strong. Uh, oh, it's that guy. The weird tadpole electric pipe. The the first form. Yeah. The little light bulb with the tail. Yeah. Oh, I'm fighting it in a raid because I didn't know what it was. Oh, dumb sparse. Real blaze. Why did you get it? Evolution. They did him dirty, but it's hilarious. Yeah, they're like, just it's just an extra done. The done spars. It's the well done spars. Just sucks so much, but it's hilarious. I've seen the ultra rare three segment shiny done spars floating around Twitter. That is rare. The same as a shiny three panda mouse or mouse hold yeah. or whatever it's called I did get a three mouse hold but is it shiny nah that's uh, I have better things to do than waste my time getting that right, I beat that tiny mill. like I'd rather just have normal I'd rather have competitive shiny Pokemon that are that are fun to use and spend my time getting those yeah, I do have. Hey, Cyclozar, can you stop chasing me? Can you stop? Cyclozar oh is really good. I hate this Pokemon, though. It's I hate so it's fast. Design, actually. Real good, though. I don't even know it's, what type it is. It is normal dragon. Normal dragon? Yep. Why? I mean, why not? They just are run out of, have run out of things to do. I mean, dolphins around here? Did I? Dolphin. S did I miss something? S rapid spin makes your s speed increase now, or has it always done that? It always does that. Hmm. Hmm. And it's, I know it spins hazards out, right? Yeah. I mean, it may not have always done that, but within the last five gens, done that. All right, let's, this, this squawk ability is interesting. It gets both taunt and torment. Huh. Hmm. Ooh, I got the dolphin. Dolphins on a lot of competitive teams, too. Really good. It's so strong. Imagine if Fury Tech. slacking didn't have Truant. Yeah, which is essentially what it is. I'm gonna name it Dolph for Dolph Lundgren. It's about to slam people. Also, the worm is really good, too. With its Earth Eater ability. Yeah, Earth Eater is good. It just is immune to ground type moves. Someone else has an Earth Eater and it's really good because of it. I don't remember who though. Yeah. Okay, I got a few levels. I think I'll be ready to take Die. on this thing next time. I might. I'll go ahead and fight this last trainer, unless you're in a really good spot. I mean, I'm in a fine spot. Dude, it already has dive? Kinda cool. Too bad it's the 
dumbest evolution in the game, probably. Oh, we'll, oh, we'll get easy. the evolution. Right, we will. But I hate that type of gimmick where you're like, what? I get having to trade because that's been like a staple from the beginning. But having to literally use this new, like, hop in other people's games and evolve it, it just is annoying. Because if, if you're not like us and have a bunch of people who play the game, then you're just like depending on random people. Yeah. And that is not dependable. Yeah, especially since the, uh, not the most reliable thing to use the Union Circle, not in local either. Yeah. Definitely when we were trying to do raids via the Union Circle, <laughs> every single time we got disconnected. Yeah. The raids are a whole other thing. Um, but I'm in a good place if we want to end the episode and continue on next time. It's nighttime in my game now. It, the cycle's so fast. It is also nighttime in my game, so we're All right, go ahead good. and save here, and I'll fight this trainer next time, and then I see you. I see the flags in the background there, and that's where I'm heading next. Um, cool. Well there's nothing else i think we'll go ahead and call it for now thank you for watching uh if you like our channel and the content we make please consider subscribing pressing the thumbs up button because we're all thumbs up and you know you can comment if you want uh just be nice or don't i don't give a shit thanks for watching we'll see you next time see ya